Okay, hello everyone and welcome to our lesson today. And again, we are going to uh, study uh, simple models, okay? But this time, uh, they we will use the models, the same models, can, uh, may, might, uh, and must, uh, not to express ability, obligation, possibility, but uh, we will use them uh, expressing present or future logical assumptions, okay? Speculations, uh, hypo hypothesis about uh, present or future hypothesis, okay? Let's focus on uh, speculations and assumptions with uh, must or can't, okay? Uh, and B, could or couldn't to express the probability of something and to express the possibility of something, may, may not, might, might not. Again, let me clarify this. Uh, they don't have a connection with the past, okay? They are all about present and future to make present and future, uh, assumptions and speculations. Okay. Yes, of course, logical assumptions. Uh, depending on some evidence, uh, we will uh, we will express, we will convey uh, the messages in our mind. Yes, okay. Yes, uh, A, uh, certainty must and can't we will use them for certainty means the most possible okay uh, for example they must be from norway they must be from norway they can't be from malaysia or in, in british english they can't they can't be from malaysia okay this is a speculation uh, and this is most possible, 90%, okay? If it is 100%, then there is no need to use any of them, none of them, okay? We don't have, then we don't use must, can, could, couldn't, may, may not, okay? We just say, if we are 100% certain about it, we just say they are from Norway, they aren't from Malaysia. Yes, this is this. But of course, the certainty has uh, degrees and the most possible one is expressed uh, with must and can't in negative speculations. For example, again, let me read it once more. They must be from Norway. Those people must be from Norway. They can't be from Malaysia. Uh, B, probability, they could be. They could be from Norway, they couldn't be from Malaysia, about 60%, okay? The degree of certainty is about 60%. But what about C, uh, to express possibility itself, may, may not, might, might not, okay? They may be, or they might be, okay? Again, present and future uh, meaning, with a present and future meaning. They may be from Norway, they may not be from uh, Malaysia. This is uh, the less possible uh, message, okay? Uh, about maybe 20 or 30 percent, okay? Certainty. There is uh, 30 or 20 percent certainty in uh, using may, may not, might, might not. Okay, now uh, A, certainty with the verb be and then verb uh, do and then verb have. Okay, first let's uh, concentrate on the verb be. For example, dialogue one, A, who do you think they are? Okay, who do you estimate? Who do you speculate? Who do you assume they are? Who do you guess they are? Okay, who do you think they are? Hmm, they must be students from Norway. 
they can't be from Malaysia. This is my speculation. Yeah. Or uh, let's take a look at uh, the alternative ways of saying it in one, two, three, four, five, six ways. Okay. There are also six ways to express, to convey uh, the same message. Okay. For example, A, I am certain that, okay, I am certain that they are students from Norway. They aren't from Malaysia. Okay. C, uh, B, I am sure that, sorry, A, I am sure that they are students from Norway. They aren't from Malaysia. I read B, let's read C now. It's certain that, okay? I am certain that is possible and it is certain that is also possible. It's certain that, it's clear that, it's certain that they are students from Norway, they aren't from Malaysia. Or, and now that, it's a certainty that they are students from Norway, they aren't from Malaysia. See again, now that there is a, certainty that there is a certainty that they are students from Norway they aren't from Malaysia or or just using certainly they are certainly students from Norway they aren't from Malaysia or we can put certainly at the, at the beginning of the sentence certainly they are students from Norway they aren't from Malaysia okay Dialogue two, who is that man? Who is that man? He is certainly Dr. Nadir, or certainly he is, he is Dr. Nadir, or he is probably Dr. Nadir, or probably he is Dr. Nadir. See, he is maybe, or perhaps, possibly Dr. Nadir, or maybe he is Nadir, perhaps comma, he is Dr. Nadir, or possibly comma, he is Dr. Nadir. But if we are a hundred percent certain about it, if we know who he is, if we really know who he is, then a hundred percent we use to be sentence. He is Dr. Nadir. Okay. Now three, they must be, of course, after be all the verbs, uh, all the verbs take ing form. They must be looking for a solution. They can be indifferent to the problem. Okay, four, check out that young man on the right. Check out that young man. He must be a sportsman because he has a rucksack and sports shoes. He must be going to a gymnasium. Is he going to a gymnasium? We are not certain about it. We are not a hundred percent certain about it. Okay? So, but we are uh, 90 percent certain about it that he is going to a gymnasium. So, we say he must be, he must be, okay? According to my estimation, according to my speculation, according to my hypothesis, he is going to gymnasium. He must be, okay? He must be going to a gymnasium. Uh, or A, B, C, D, E again. <clears throat> I am sure that, okay? I am sure that uh, that young man is a sportsman because he has a rucksack and sports shoes. I am sure that he is going to a gymnasium. I am sure that he is going to a gymnasium. B, I am certain that he is going to a gymnasium. It is certain that he is going to a gymnasium. It is a certainty that he is going to a gymnasium. There is a certainty that he is going to a gymnasium. He is certainly going to a gymnasium or certainly he is going to a gymnasium. Or I have the certainty, I have the certainty that he is going to a gymnasium. Or if you say it is my speculation that, okay, it is also possible. It is my speculation that uh, he is going to a gymnasium. Okay. 
I am not a hundred percent certain about it. Okay. Now, uh, for, these are example sentences. The driver must be injured badly. He seems unconscious. Must be injured. Must injured. He's. You can take it as an adjective. Also, it is in the passive format. The driver must be injured badly. Must be happy like this. Okay. Must be. Uh, rich must be uh, excited okay must be strong six this painting must be a piece of salvador dali or pablo picasso yeah it must be original etc you can read the similar sentences okay now dialogue one a i want to see all two do you know where he is where is conjunction here do you know where he is? I want to see all two. Do you want, do you know where he is? He must be in the library. Okay, 90%. He could be in the library, 70%. He may be or might be in the library to 30%. Okay, certainly. He is fond of reading. Yes, according to uh, the evidence, uh, the clues, okay? Uh, he is fond of reading. This is, an this is a clue, okay? This is evidence. He is fond of reading and he spends most of his time reading. So he must be, he must be in the library. Okay. He could be in the library. He may be in the library. Where is Tuche? Tuche must be at school. Could be at school, may be at school, according to our certainty. Uh, to uh, uh, A, Carol may be the girl, okay, so sorry, yes, uh, may also possible, but must. Carol must be the girl on the right, okay? No, she can't be her. No, she can't be Carol. I know that that is Barbara. I know that. That is Barbara. So B is a hundred percent certain about who she is. Okay, Carol must be the one between Barbara and Lucy in the middle of them. Who is Lucy? Lucy must be a nurse. Could be a nurse. May be a nurse. Might be a nurse. Okay. A, that building can't be can't be a police station. It must be a fire brigade. It is uh, it is a theater. This is a hundred percent true. It is a theater. What is the build? Uh, what is that building? Is it a police station? Uh, it must be a country house. It could be a country house. It can't be. Okay, it can't be. Uh, a police station, it must be a country house. We are not sure about it. Okay, certainly with the verb have, just like be. Ahmed must have a problem, okay? Ahmed must have a problem. He seems thoughtful. Now, I am sure that Ahmed has a problem. He seems thoughtful. Seeming, so here, uh, seeming thoughtful is evidence. I am certain that Ahmed has a problem. It's certain that Ahmed has a problem. It's a certainty that Ahmed has a problem. This goes on and on like this. You are joyful. You must have a special occasion today. Or I am sure that you have a special occasion today. It's certain that you have a special occasion today. And it's it, again, it goes on and on like this. Three, you've been studying all morning. You must have an exam tomorrow. Yeah, you must have an exam tomorrow. Dursun is going to buy a brand new car. He must have a lot of money. He must have a lot of money. Or I am sure that he has now this time, okay? If we start with, I am sure that, I am certain that, it's certain that we don't use a model. We don't use uh, either 
must, can, may, might. Okay? We use none of them. So I am sure that he has a lot of money. I am certain that he has a lot of money. Yes, and it goes on and on like this. Five, has Tunjai got a car? He must have a car because I saw his driving license. So B's evidence is this. Uh, he saw his driving license. Okay. He must have a car, he says. He must have a car. Okay. See, I know that he is a driver at CNN. Ahmed can't have a car of his own. He can't be a lift. He can't be a lift driver either. I am sure that uh, I am sure I am sure that uh, Ahmed uh, Ahmed doesn't have a car. I am sure that because because he say Ahmed can't have a car of his own. So I am sure that he, he doesn't have a car of his own. Okay. I am certain that he doesn't have a car. He doesn't have a car of his own. Uh, it's certain that he doesn't have a car of his own. Okay. Now certainty with any action word with can, can't, and must. The criminal can't run away. Okay, this sentence has a message in it. The criminal can't or can't run away. Or I am sure that, so uh, we will not use any of them. Okay, we will not use uh, either can, either can't or must. So I am sure that he, the criminal won't run away. I am certain that criminal won't run away. Okay? It goes on like this. The criminal uh, won't certainly run away or certainly the criminal won't run away. Will not run away. You can't run away from yourself is a motto-like sentence. Okay. Sorry. Take this to the right. Okay. Okay. The coconuts must fall. Coconuts must fall. Must fall on your head. So stay, uh, don't stay under the palm tree, coconut tree. The coconut, coconuts must fall on your head or these are more uh, uh, clear I think the other alternatives are clearer than uh, the, the sentence with the must for example I am sure that the coconuts will fall on your head so this sentence means the coconuts, coconuts must fall on your head 90% certainty okay the coconuts could fall on your head 70%. The coconuts might, yeah, the may or may fall on your head is 30%. Okay, but uh, A, B, C, D, E, and F, uh, they have a certainty of 90% each. For example, I am sure that the coconuts will fall on your head. I am certain that the coconuts will fall on your head. I am certain that it's certain that it is a certainty that there is a certainty that or the coconuts will certainly fall on your head. Okay, according to this situation, according to my estimation, according to my speculation, yes, the coconuts will fall on your head. They, uh, they must fall on your head. Okay, it's not an obligation. Uh, it's, it's not a prohibition yes but it is a speculation it is just a speculation here about the future present and future the coconuts must fall on your head means certainly the coconuts will fall on your head okay for example according to the situation according to the evidence visible visible clues 
He must break his arm or leg. He is in an abnormal situation. He must break his arm or leg. What does it mean? It means that I am sure that he will break his arm or leg. I am certain that he will break his arm or leg. It's certain that he will break uh, his arm or leg. Yes, it goes on and on like this. Three, an example sentence. Just pay attention to the model here. Never walk quickly and in a hurry. You can't catch the nine o'clock train. Okay? You can't catch the nine o'clock train. Four, be careful and stand still. You must stop the basket. Uh, you must drop, sorry. You must drop the basket off your head. Okay. According to this situation, be quiet. You can wake up the sleeping baby. Be quiet. You can wake up the sleeping baby. I am sure. I am sure that I am sure that you will you will wake up the sleeping baby. I am certain that you will wake up the sleeping baby. It's certain that with these expressions, we don't use can, can't, must. Okay? So we just use uh, future will. It's certain that you will wake up. There is a certain that you will wake up. You will certainly, you will certainly wake up the sleeping baby. Six, Fatih must calm down the crying baby. Yes. It means, uh, I am sure, I am certain that Fatih will call down the crying baby. Okay. If there is must, of course, we don't use I am sure, I am certain, it is certain, it's a certainty, there is a certainty, we don't use them. Okay. Okay. Uh, 7A, what will you do tomorrow? We can go on a picnic. What do you think they'll do? They must go fishing. 90%. Okay? I am certain that they will go fishing. Okay? They must go fishing. A speculation. They can play. It is not obligation. It is not the, it doesn't have the message of importance. Okay? Just speculation. They must go fishing. Means, I am certain that they will go fishing. They can play basketball, for example. 10A. Why is Suleiman coming tonight? Why is Suleiman coming tonight? He can wish to speak to you. He must want you to find him a job. He must want you to find him a job. Yes. There is a certainty that he will want you. Okay. He will want you to find him a job. Okay. Now uh, time to focus on probability with could and couldn't with B. Who do you think they are? Now, this time, not they must, not, uh, okay, they may or might, but could, probability. They could be students, okay? They could be students from Norway, 70%. They couldn't be from Malaysia. Now, this time, we don't say it is certain that there is a certain that. We say it is probable, okay? It is probable that they are from Norway. They aren't from Malaysia. Again, it is probable that they aren't from Malaysia. Instead of couldn't, we say it is pro it is probable that they are from Norway. This uh, semi-comma is important here. There isn't a point, full period here, okay? There isn't a full stop. There is a semicolon. So it is probable that affects the second part as well. It is probable that they are from Norway, they aren't from Malaysia. It, uh, it is a probability, okay, not certainty. It is a probability that they are from Norway, they aren't from Malaysia. There is a probability that it is likely that it is like that they are from Norway or probably, of course, not certainly, okay? Probably they are from Norway, they aren't from Malaysia. Again, the second part also means probably they aren't from Malaysia. Okay. They could be, again, uh, we can use be, but the word, take, word takes ing. They could be looking for a solution. 
they couldn't be indifferent, uninterested, or disinterested, lethargic to the problem. Look at that young man, check out that young man, have a look at that young man, take a look at that young man. He could be a sportsman. He could be. Because he's got a rucksack and sports shoes. He could be going to a gymnasium. So uh, this is about, again, probability. Yes, there is a probability that uh, he is going to a gymnasium. Four, the driver could be injured badly. The driver could be injured badly. He seems unconscious. It's probable that the driver, the driver is injured badly. Uh, he seems unconscious. Uh, it is probable that the driver is injured badly. There is a probability that the driver is injured badly. Yes, it is like this. Now, probability with the verb have. Ahmed could have a problem. Not must have a problem here. Not, it's not about 90% certainty, but uh, it is about 70% uh, certainty. Ahmed could have a problem right now. He seems thoughtful. So it is probable that Ahmed has. It's a probability that Ahmed has a problem. There is a probability that Ahmed has a problem, etc. Or just probably Ahmed has a problem because he seems thoughtful. Thoughtful has, of course, a positive meaning. For example, thank you for being thoughtful, mindful, understanding, considerate. Yes, thank, thank you for being considerate, thoughtful, a motto. Okay, probability with the verb have. You are joyful. You could have. You could have a special occasion today, tomorrow. Okay. You've been studying all the morning. You could have an exam tomorrow. Means it's probable that you will. Okay, it's probable that you will have an exam. It is pro it is a probability that you will have an exam, etc. etc. Has Tunjai got a car? He could have a car because I saw him driving. I saw his driving license. I know that he is a driver at TRT. He couldn't have a car of his own. He couldn't be. He couldn't be a taxi driver either. Okay, Dursun is going to buy a brand new car. He could have a lot of money. Yeah, it is probable that he has. A lot of money. <clears throat> okay, probably with action words. Look at him. He could fall down. Okay, there is a probability that he will fall down. Look at him. He could fall down and he could hurt himself. He couldn't keep his balance. So it is probable that he will fall down and he will hurt himself. And... He won't keep, he keep his balance. B, it is probable that he will fall down, etc., etc., so, uh, so forth. Two, he could break his arm or leg. He could break his arm or leg. It is probable that he will, okay? He will break his arm or leg. It is a probability that he will break his arm or leg, or probably he will break his arm or leg. Never walk quickly and in a hurry. You couldn't catch the dinosaur train. Be careful and stand still. You could drop the basket off your head. Be quiet. You could wake up the sleeping baby. Yeah. Six, I could calm down the cry. I could calm down the crying baby. It's probable that I will, okay? It's probable that I will calm down the crying baby. Uh, it goes on and on like this. What will you do tomorrow? Now we could go on a picnic. Or uh, it is probable that we will go on a picnic. There is a probability that we will go on a picnic. These are all mean we could go on a picnic. So it has a 70% 70% certainty. 
what do you think they'll do? They could go fishing. Yes. There is a probability that they will go fishing. Okay? Because of could. They could play basketball. Why is Strayman coming tonight? He could wish to speak to you. He could want you to find him a job. These are all probable. Now see, possibility with the verb be. What do you think? What do you think they are? They may be students from Norway. 30% certainly, okay? Because it isn't they must be. It isn't they could be. It is they may be. Or it, we can say they might be, okay? They might be students from Norway. They may not be from Malaysia. They might not be from Malaysia. So 30% certainty. So we can use, now we don't use certainty, we don't use probability, but what do we use? We use, it is possible that. It is a possibility that, there is a possibility that, or maybe, perhaps, possibly, okay? We can use maybe. Maybe they are from Norway. Maybe they aren't from Malaysia. Perhaps they are from Norway. Perhaps they aren't from Malaysia. Possibly they are from Norway. They aren't from Malaysia. And these are, uh, why are these very important? Because uh, you, of, for example, you, you can make perfect sentences, but uh, you need something, okay? Uh, before making your sentence like this. Possibly, for example, yeah. Possibly they are from Norway, okay? Maybe. Not certainly, not probably, okay? Maybe, perhaps, or possibly they are from Norway. Or there is a possibility that. There is a possibility that they are from Norway. They aren't from Malaysia. Means there is a possibility that they aren't from Malaysia. This is this. Two, they may be looking for a solution, okay? Not they must be, not they could be. They may be, they might be looking for a solution. They may not be indifferent to the problem. Look at that young man. He may be a sportsman because he's, he has got a rucksack and sports shoes. He may be going to a gymnasium. He might be going to a gymnasium now. Okay, for the driver may be injured badly. He seems unconscious. Yes, it is possible that the driver is injured badly. Okay. Or maybe the driver is injured badly. Perhaps the driver is injured badly. Possibly the driver is injured, maybe, but there is no may or might. Okay. Now, possibility with the verb have, Ahmed may have a problem or Ahmed might have a problem. 30%. Okay. Now, we don't use could have a problem. Because could is about 70% of certainty. We don't use must. Why? Because must is about uh, 90 degrees certainty. So may, might. Ahmed might have a problem. He seems thoughtful. So it is possible that, okay? It is possible that Ahmed has a problem. It's a possibility that Ahmed has a problem. There is a possibility that Ahmed has a problem. Or maybe... So be careful about using maybe, perhaps, possibly. Uh, we don't, or certainly, probably, we don't use a model, okay? Okay, so maybe we use, maybe Ahmed has a problem. But if we are 100% sure, let me tell it again, then we just make a sentence without uh, models or without certainty expressions. We say... What do we say? We say, Ahmed has a problem. This is, this shows us a hundred percent, a hundred percent of certainty. Yeah, they call it conviction. I think. Yes, I think we will study in the vocabulary part. Conviction. Being convinced. A hundred percent convinced. Persuaded. Okay, now two, let's turn back to our business. You are joyful, 
Okay, you may have, this is certain, a hundred percent certain. You are joyful. You may have, now this is speculation. You may have a special occasion today. Means you are joyful. And there is a possibility that you have, you have a special occasion today or tonight. Three, you've been studying all morning. You may have an exam tomorrow. This is my speculation, assumption, hypothesis. This is my hypothesis. You may have an exam tomorrow. You could have an exam tomorrow. You must have an exam tomorrow. All of them are hypothesis, okay? They are not the fact. They are not 100% true. But you are joyful is 100% true. Two, if you look at uh, two, sentence two, you are joyful, 100% true. So uh, we speculate about this fact. It's a fact that you are joyful, so you may have a special occasion. It is possible that you have a special occasion, or there is a possibility that uh, you have a special occasion or uh, maybe you have a special occasion perhaps you have a special occasion or possibly you have a special occasion today just like this okay has Tunjai got a car he may have a car because I saw his driving license but it doesn't show a hundred percent that and just uh, seeing his driving license doesn't tell us that uh, Tunjai has a car. It's just a hypothesis. We are hypothesizing, okay? We are hypothesizing, speculating about the fact. Okay, see, I know that he is a driver at Tereta, TRT. He may not have a car of his own. He may not be a taxi driver either. Dursun is going to buy a brand new car. He may have a lot of, he may have a lot of money. Maybe he has a lot of money. Possibility with action verbs, look at him. He may fall down. He might fall down and hurt himself. Okay. He may not, might not keep his balance. It's possible that he will fall down and he will hurt himself and it is possible that again he won't keep his balance. Okay. It is possible that he will fall down and hurt himself. He won't keep his balance. There is a possibility that he will fall down and hurt himself because he won't keep his balance. Maybe, perhaps, possibly, yeah. He will fall down and hurt himself. He won't keep his balance if he goes on like this. The next is this. He may or might break his arm or leg. Means it's possible that he will. He will break his arm or leg. But if we don't use any of them, then it becomes, uh, it becomes a conviction. A conviction. We say uh, he will break his arm or leg. One of them will happen. Okay? He will break his arm or leg. A hundred percent certainty. Okay. Never walk quickly and in a hurry. You may not or might not catch the nine o'clock train. Be careful and stand still. You may drop the basket of your head. Be quiet. You may wake up the sleeping baby. You may. It's possible, okay? It's possible that you will wake up the sleeping baby. Six, I might, I might calm down. Yes, I might calm down the crying baby. 30% of certain. I could calm down the crying baby. 70%. I must calm down the baby, the crying baby. 90%. But I will, if we say I will calm down the crying baby, 100% true. Now, uh, I made, I might call, calm down the crying baby. It's possible that I will. 
I will calm down, baby, etc., etc. It goes on like this. 7a, what will you do tomorrow? We might go, okay? On a picnic, 30%. Certainly. What do you think they'll do? They may go fishing, 30%. They might play basketball, 30%. Yes. Why is Suleiman coming tonight? He might wish to speak to you. He might want to speak to you. He may want you to find him a job. It's possible that he will, okay? He will wish to speak to you and he will want you to find him a job, etc., etc. So on, so forth, I think is also possible to say. So on, so forth. Okay, now kind of quiz time. Please speculate again with simple models to give the same meaning message. Yeah, try to find the models, okay? Must, can't, or could, couldn't, or may, may not, might, might not, okay? You are going to, uh, you are going to find uh, the model. You are going to make a model sentence. Okay. Sentence one. There is a certainty that Jamal is writing a poem now. So, certain because it says certainty, Jamal must be, must be writing a poem now. To look at the cheetah. Look at the cheetah. I am certain that it won't fail the antelope now. So, the cheetah can't fail the antelope now. The cheetah must catch the antelope according to the situation. Three, it is probable that all the children are terrified now. So all the children could be, okay, could be terrified now. A probable. It's probable that all the children are terrified now. Okay. So all the children could be terrified now. Yeah, this is the key of them. Certain to must be. Okay, uh, won't fail, can't fail. Yes, and could be terrified. Uh, for it's a possibility that Mr. Brady is very sorry today. It's a possibility. So Mr. Brady may be, may be or might be very sorry today. Stay away from the criminal. I am certain that he has a gun. I am certain that. Stay away from the criminal. He must have. He must have a gun. Six, stop approaching him. He will certainly give harm to you. So he must give harm to you. Stop approaching him. He will probably give harm to you. He could give harm to you. So stop approaching him. Let's see the key. Okay, maybe or might be. Okay, here uh, he must have a gun, yeah. He must give harm to you, 90% certainty, but could give harm to you, 70% certainty. Okay. Sorry. This one. It is forbidden to take away books without being kept being a member it is forbidden now it's about it is not about speculation it's not about a uh, polite request uh, but it's about prohibition now it is forbidden to take away books without being a member so you can't you can't take books without being a member you can't take away yeah, you can take away books uh, in this library without being a member. Okay. Is there a permission for me to photocopy this? Permission. Is there a permission for me to photocopy this? 
or may I photocopy this? May I photocopy this? Yes, you may means, yes, there is a permission for you. There is an importance for you to be industrious and polite. So must, okay. you must be, you must be industrious and polite. There is an allowance, permission that you use the computer here means you may use, okay? You may use the computer here. Uh, there is a permission for you. There is an allowance for you to use the computer. Or there is an allowance that you use. There is a permission that you use. There is a permission to use. There is a permission for you to use the computer here. Let's see the key. You can take away books or you mustn't, of course. You mustn't. Uh, can, uh, prohibition is possible with can't and mustn't. You mustn't take away books without being a member of the library. Is there a permission? Uh, ah, yes. It is all. May I? May I photocopy here? Is it all right if I photocopy here? Do you mind if I photocopy here? Also possible to take permission. Yes. In fact, can, yes, can. Can I photocopy here? Also can expresses permission here. Okay. There is an importance for you, mean must, yes, you must be. There's allowance, uh, you may use the computer here, yes. And you can, yes, you can use also express permission. Means you are permitted, permitted. You are allowed, you are allowed to use the computer here. Okay, quiz time. Please choose the correct alternative. The peacemaker will inform us. The peacemaker will inform us about or of what goes on and on if he blank at the region, at the region safe and sound. Uh, so uh, after if we use uh, present, the peacemaker will inform us of what uh, what goes on and on if the if he. If he arrives, D, if he arrives at the region safe and sound. So D is correct. If the weather blank fine tomorrow, we may go, we can go, we may go. We will go, yes, we will go to the public beach and swim. So if the weather is, okay, we don't use, will, may, in if clauses. So if the weather is fine tomorrow, although it is future structure, it has future structure. So three, if ice cream is exposed, if ice cream is exposed and open to heat, it melts. B. Yes. This is a law. This is a fact. For the firm, the company supports your expenses blank as she works for them. Uh, as she, sorry, as she works for them. So, uh, which one? The company supports your expenses blank as she works for them. If The firm supports your expenses as long as, she, uh, as yes, sorry, I couldn't see as here. So uh, if if also possible, uh, uh, I couldn't make up my mind, but yes, there is as, so we are bound to, we have to choose A. The firm supports the expenses as long as she works for them, but if there isn't as here, for example, if we delete as, then the firm supports your expenses if she works for them is also possible. As changes the situation, okay, changes the result. 
okay, five or determines the result as long as five, if I blank you, I would see an optician. If I blank you, I would see an optician. If I were if I were you, I would see an optician. Okay, vocabulary building. Yes, conviction means being convinced. Yes. A firmly held belief, confidence, certainty, a hundred percent certainty, definiteness, decisiveness, certitude. Okay. Conviction. Sceptical is just the opposite of it, or uh, of or pertaining to a septic or scepticism, characterized by scepticism, hesitating to admit the certain, certainly of doctrines or principles, adopting of everything. A yes, septic adjective, both uh, septic and sceptical are same, but uh, septic is also the person, okay? Cynical, cynical showing contempt for uh, for accepted moral standards. Contempt for uh, accepted moral standards by one's actions, sarcastic, doubting the sincerity of others, pessimistic, looking on the dark side of things. Cynic is the person, okay? Cynic is the person who does not accept who does not accept moral standards who does not believe in sincerity of others is who doesn't uh, believe in moral standards that universally accepted moral standards cynical uh, is something like this nihilistic if you describe someone or someone as nihilistic you mean they do not trust Again, lack of trust, absence of trust, political and religious authority and place uh, place their faith in the individual. Nihilist and absolute septic. Yeah, a nihilist is an absolute septic, a person who believes in the truth of nothing. So nothing is not a truth. The truth of nothing is not the truth. Okay, agnostic is a disapproval meaning, one who thinks that it is not possible to know whether or not a God exists, so unbeliever, agnostic is, agnostic means unbeliever, okay. Okay, oh, here is a gift, what does the gift say? It says, well, that's a very cynical attitude, cynical. Is it an ethical attitude or a scientific attitude? It uh, He says it's a cynical attitude. A cynic does not accept the ethical values. Okay. Sceptical attitude. Jack is tending to disagree with whatever he hears. He is also sceptical about or of whatever he sees. Is he also sceptical? Yes, he is also sceptical about whatever he sees. Who does he identify or associate? Yeah. Uh, who does he ident identify? Uh, who does he identify with himself? Who does he identify with himself? He identifies. Who does? He identifies uh, Ahmed with himself. He identifies George with himself. Or he associates himself with George or he associates George with himself. So this is really, uh, this is really clear. It has a clear uh, aspect. For example, he says, I love nothing. A nihilist is an absolute septic. He or she believes in the truth of nothing. So, he 
loves he or she, of course, he or she loves nothing, he or she believes nothing, something like this. Yeah. The truth of nothing. Okay, these are really beautiful uh, words, uh, derive and with the suffixes, word plus suffix then becomes an adjective, adjectives. Okay, verbs are these, believe becomes believable, debate becomes debatable, prove becomes provable, question becomes questionable, unsolved becomes unsolvable, break becomes break breakable, as a movable, drinkable, admirable, acceptable, achievable, doable, yeah, doable, feasible, doable, attainable, manageable, adaptable, adjustable, accountable, yes, accountable, that's it, that's it. Now, <laughs> he says, convince me, convince is verb, okay? So, he says that he needs to be convinced, okay? So he needs convincing by someone else. So he says, imperative sentence, convince me, persuade me. So convincing is active, convinced is passive. He is not convinced, okay? He is not convinced, he is not persuaded, he is not Persuaded. Believable means something which can be accepted as true or something which seems true and possible. What does debatable or question, uh, questionable means? Yeah, debatable means that something that can be, that we can debate. Questionable means something that we can question. Okay? We can ask questions. Debatable means not clear. Yeah. Not certain, not fixed. Possibly not true. What does provable means? Provable means something that can be proved. That can be proved. Or something that we can prove. We can prove if it is Provable, we can prove it. Provable means something which can be shown that it is true by providing facts. What does unsolvable mean? Yeah, unsolvable means something that we cannot solve. Okay. Now, clearness, freedom from ambiguity. Ambiguity. Okay. Ambiguity means uncertainty. Uncertainty. The opposite of certainty. Ambiguity. Conviction means the state of being convinced. Being persuaded. Confidence. Convinced and uh, having confidence. Being sure about. This is excellent. This is very good. Uh, conviction means being sure about something being certain about something. It's so we can make, we can produce a motto like this. It's a matter of being convinced or having conviction. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope it will be useful for you. And please, again, remember that there is the, there is the link of each video in the in the uh, which box is it in the description box okay you can make you have you make you can make use of uh, both the written documents and the oral documents okay have a good day and see you next time